What's up guys? So um, this is gonna be a really, really raw video of a little commentating I did for a IG uh, TV episode, but um, y'all just bear with me. There's some commentating and we get a visitor from someone. So uh, uh, anyways, this is a straw hat that we did uh, earlier today. So uh, we're gonna upload this video, but um, if y'all like it, please share, subscribe. I appreciate all of it. Uh, gonna try to get this YouTube thing going. There's just not a lot out there on the web with shaping hats and uh, I want to share what I know and it might not be as much as some people but uh, I want to give back what God's given me the ability to do so uh, uh, if y'all can share like subscribe comment let me know what you think about the videos like I said it's really raw I'm not a professional at cameraing or anything like that the videography or anything so y'all just let me know Thank you, Will. So we have a TC8800 right here. This hat's been out here to the E a couple times, so it's a little dirty. We're gonna try to clean it up as we go. Um, that can make problems sometimes with creasing it, just cause it'll soften up in areas that it's caught moisture and stuff. And if y'all don't know what the Lazy E is, it's actually a, a gigantic arena out here in Guthrie that uh, it's pretty much the only thing open. So we did the high school finals out here, the national high school finals, the Little Bridges finals, and uh, the PBR event was out here two weekends ago, and that was a, actually a pretty good show for us. So let's go ahead and get it started. This might take a second. Steamer hadn't been on today, so. Now this is a four and a half inch brim. That's what I normally wear. That's just what I prefer. I'm a, I'm a little bit bigger guy, so I think it fits me a little better. So as always, with any crease, we try to start with a center line there. And the guy that's gonna come look at this hat is a little wider built guy. So we're gonna go a little wider there through the crease. You know, some of the slimmer people, we pull that in where it's a little tighter. This guy's a little wider. He's built like me, so we're gonna go a little wider there. Anytime I do a hat for a guy that uh, isn't right here, I'll kind of leave these creases a little softer right here, right? Because sometimes he might want it tighter, he might want it a little softer, if that makes sense. So I'll try to leave that just a little softer there. Um, and kind of, I play this crease really by the weave. So this weave's a little lower. So we could take that a little lower, but some of these some of these weave pattern and vent patterns on these hats tend to set a little higher. So this has to be a sharper crease here, so. He pretty told pretty much told me what he wanted on the uh, on the brim, but just like just like with um, you know, with the creases here, we're gonna stay a little softer on the brim. That way, if he does wanna change it here or there, we can change it a little bit, so. But. He kinda of told me he wanted it pretty similar to mine but not as short on the side. So what we're gonna do with that is a lot of people, all they worry about is the front of the hat, you know? And that's cool and that could be what really sets the hat, but what you really gotta worry about when it's coming to the height of the sides, you gotta pitch that back up because that's what's gonna give you height in the sides. Because if you set that crease there, that's what it's gonna be right there. That's all it's gonna be. So by setting that back, that's what's gonna give you a little more height, so. I think I already told y'all, but this is an 8800 TC, so it's a tough Cooper edition. How are you? We're doing a little Instagram live shaping here. Sweet. Guys, this is Terry. She, she might not want to step in. This is our vendor coordinator, so uh, she does a lot of the events out here at E, so we see her a lot. So 
She, she's here probably more than anybody. But that's about it, guys. We're going to leave it a little softer, like I said, just because we don't know exactly what the customer's going to want. But that's that TC8800 there with the Cattlemen's. And I guess what you would consider a, a JB brim, what most people would consider. But uh, I'm going to stay on live. If anybody's got any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Like I said, we're here a little early, and I'll probably toy with this a little bit here and there until the customer comes by. But if y'all got any questions, throw them at me now. I'll be happy to answer them. I know we only got about a dozen people on here. But uh, like I said, I'm going to probably post this to um, IG Live, IGTV, and that's your hat right there. So guys, there it is. Like I said, it's really raw, and I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think, what I could do differently to maybe uh, to amp up the videos. Obviously, a camera would help instead of doing it with my phone here, but I appreciate y'all watching. Um, if y'all need anything, be sure to get at me on, on Instagram or Twitter, any platform. It's pretty much C. Drake Jones. I'm happy to answer any questions, whether it's about buying a hat or shaping a hat. Uh, y'all be sure to get at me if y'all have any questions. I'll be happy to help in any way possible. So, uh, like I said, like, share, comment. Let me know what y'all think. I appreciate y'all watching. Take care.